Hi, Kate. Just to let you know, I will be in today after all. Yeah. So, see you later. Bye. Serena? Are you not out of there yet? Serena? All right. I'm not going to be late again. What do you want for breakfast? I'm not hungry. Well, tough. You can't go to school on an empty stomach. Serena! What? You've got five minutes to get downstairs and counting. You could give Beth another chance. You just don't want to. She doesn't deserve it. Everyone deserves a second chance. She is your sister. Yeah, that doesn't stop her, though, did it? No, but that's where you could take the moral high ground. Forgive her, you never know, she might surprise you. That's what I'm afraid of. It's hardly likely to happen again, is it? I'm not Richard. No, but Beth is still Beth. It's not as if she didn't know he was my husband before she chose to sleep with him. OK, time's up. Are you coming out of there or am I coming in? I don't feel well. And if you're not out of there double quick, I guarantee you'll feel worse. You were fine five minutes ago. Serena, I'm going to count to three. One. Two. Are you coming out of there any time soon? It's my bathroom. It's up to you what you do. What she did was really bad. I just don't want to stand by and watch you do something you might regret later. All I'm saying is... I know what you're saying. I just wish you'd stop saying it. You only have one sister. Had. I don't see how you can cut her out of your life forever. Watch and learn. You're going to have to let her back in sooner or later. Right. That is it. What is the matter with you? I told you I didn't want to be late again, and what do you do? Oh, no, not again. Ladies, just so that you're aware, Mark's mother died on Friday. No. How long is he going to be off? Well, he, he's not. Good morning. Good morning. Sorry, I'm a bit late. Uh, no, 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 you're bang on time. Uh, Mark, um, we're all very, very sorry about him. Yeah, thanks. I can't believe you bother coming in. Shh. Affects people in different ways, you know that. We just can't go on like this. She's throwing up all over the shop and I'm having to take time off work left, right and centre. And you had something similar a few weeks ago? And last week. She was off a couple of days. You haven't eaten anything out of the ordinary? Right. And you say it's just in the mornings that she's sick, I mean? Yeah. Oh, no, don't even go there. She's only 12. Oh, thanks. All right, tell me all about your weeping. It was fantastic. <laughs> the caddy broke down again, but I had a spare hair clip and a pair of silk stockings. <laughs> well, vomiting is usually a sign of something. Are you sure you're not having any other symptoms? Well, my ears are ringing a bit. Well, that's probably from listening to Fiverr, whoever, at full blast. What about all that indigestion, heartburn pain you were talking about? It's nothing. I'm just sick. Can't you just give me something? I think we need to get you a urine sample first. The ladies are through reception, up the stairs and on your left. But go on, then. She hasn't been having any problems associated with eating. What? You mean like anorexia? No, I was thinking more of bulimia. Cycles of binging and throwing up. Oh, no. She usually eats like a horse. It's, it's only been lately with this sickness that she's been skipping breakfast. Mm. Any other big changes in her life? I 
thought you might like a nice cup of chamomile tea. Right. Right. All oh, right. Hmm. Mm. So do you have any other children? Only Natalie. She stayed with her dad after the split. Serena came to live with me. Well, it's what they both wanted at the time. I suppose he, you know, Tim, did want another one, but... Well, the menopause put paid to that. Are you worried that Serena might have changed her mind about living with her dad? Oh, I don't know. We used to be close, you know, but they grow up too fast these days. <laughs> One minute they want one thing and the next it's something else. Uh, I'm trying to hold down a day job and an evening job just to make ends meet, you know, give her the things she wants. It's easy for Tim. He's always had a good job. So who looks at her in the evenings? No one. Well, she's quite capable. <laughs> like I said, I have to work. So do you know what she may get up to when you're not around? Well, no. I suppose the same things most kids do. But she's not a bad kid. No, of course not. You know, we could always do a pregnancy test. Why? Just to rule it out. Oh, good. Did you manage? That's it. Right, I'm going to give you a prescription for something to make you feel less sick and relieve the indigestion pains. But I think you should come back and see me in a couple of days, just to see how you're doing. Oh, sorry. No, I'm done. Antidote to chamomile tea. What was that all about? Oh, it was just Katrina being thoughtful earlier. I don't know how he's holding it all together. To be honest with you, neither do I. You shouldn't have let him come in today. Oh, I didn't have much choice in the matter. Try to convince him we could do without him for a while. He didn't want anybody else picking up the slack. You just want him to yell, cry, scream, something. If it was my mother, I'd be in pieces. Maybe he did his yelling, crying and screaming over the weekend so he'd be ready for work on Monday. Mm. It's that stupid army mm. dip up a lip stuff. It's probably the only thing holding him together right now. Well, he obviously doesn't want to talk to me about it, but you're welcome to have a go if you think you can do better. <laughs> so, I was rolling my stockings down because I had a ladder in them and Jimmy said no. Leave them on. I need something to climb up later. What? In the middle of the karaoke? No, that was earlier. Ugh, oh, this is sickening. We did Indian love call. What? In the middle of... You know... No, karaoke, you fool. Oh. We were just like Jeanette MacDonald and Nelson Eddy. Who? Oh. Sounds like you had a good one. Yeah, well, you know, not bad. Still paying for it now, though. Oh, we ought to have some aspen lying around here. <sighs> anyway, we're going out tonight again. We're going to do this 50s dance competition at the old jazz hall. Really? I used to go to 50s nights in Glasgow <sighs> years ago. Well, maybe we should all come along. Oh, well, yeah, OK. Great, we can cheer you on. And now that you've given me the full lowdown on Jimmy's talents, it's only right that I get to check him out. Oh, well, I suppose so. I mean, he is pretty impressive. <coughs> oh, and by the way, can you have a look at his leg? You know, the cut? He did it on some naval exercise, which, of course, he can't tell me about. But if it's hurting him so much, why didn't you get him to come and see me last Friday? Look, I don't care if it hurts. Just make sure it's good enough to dance on. Hi, you all right? Oh, yeah. Apart from this Beth thing driving me up the wall. Oh, families, eh? Who'd have them? Actually, it's more Pete than Beth. He keeps going on at me and on at me to talk to her. Says I'll only regret it later if I don't. Well, maybe he's got a point. Yeah, well, good for him. All I've got out of this is a headache. Ah, well, in that case, just take an aspirin like the rest of us. Oh, yeah, that's what I've just said to... No, I mean, look at Mark. You never know when it's going to be too late. Mm. Aspirin. You got a headache? Uh, no, just a hunch. A hunch? You want to get a doctor to take a look at that? <laughs> Listen, are you coming to this dance competition tonight? No, no, my uh, competition days are over. Well, you don't have to dance. All you have to do is clap. It's Katrina that's putting all the effort in. Well, I suppose I could look in for a bit, support the staff and their extracurricular activities. Mm. You're looking.
working a bit better. I thought I might go into work for a bit. Just a couple of hours. Oh, cheer up, love. We could go shopping at the weekend. I mean, if you're better. I was thinking we could get you a mobile phone. I could send you those text messages. What, from work? Yeah, if you like. Well, have a think about it anyway. Will you be all right by yourself for a while, then? I usually am, aren't I? Hi. Hi. How's it going? Oh, fine. Listen, I was wondering, at least if it's any help, the rest of us could split your afternoon patients. Why? Well, like, you probably have other things to do, arrangements to make and so on. Oh, no, everything's under control. That's it. Right. Well, if you change your mind or if you just want to talk about anything, you know where I am. Yeah. It's just the way things are. You can't just run round here every time you and Mum fall out. I'm not. Well, whatever. The point is, they're divorced. We're just going to have to get used to it. Mum will do a nut if she finds out you're here. So? It's not all fun and games here either, you know. I know. Dad has his moments. I know. It's not that. I'd better get it. It's probably Mum. Hello? Dad? No, it's just Serena's here. I don't know, she just turned up on her own. I think Mum's had a go or something. All right, hang on. What do you think you're doing? Nothing, I was just... Little cow, is that all you came round for? To nick my things? No, I... Oh, you've got your sweaty little fingers in my stuff, then. I'm sorry. Katie? Jimmy. Well, Will's right front, baby. Let's ride. Oh, but Jimmy, I don't get off until six. Uh, that's OK, baby. I I'll keep my motor running. <laughs> Hello, sailor. All right. I heard you had a uh, productive weekend. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Come on, then, let's have a look at your leg. Hey? Oh, uh, you know the cut you got on manoeuvres? Oh, all oh, right, yeah. Mm. It's the kind of manoeuvres you were involved in that I'm concerned about. Mum! Yes, Mum! who got a call at work from my ex-husband to tell me that my daughter, who's supposed to be sick at home, was actually off gallivanting round his house. Mum! Yes, Mum, who's had to take more time off work for a daughter who's obviously well enough to be at school anyway. I'm not. Not to mention trying to steal from your sister. Dr Carlyle left a message on the machine asking if you'd taken any aspirin recently. I found this in the bin. I know I only bought it last week. What's going on? So, you're going to be shaking a leg again tonight, eh? Ouch. Yeah, that's what I said, more or less. I'll bet. Yeah, a competition. Should be a laugh. You don't sound so sure. No, no, it's, it's not that, it's... Look, I need to ask you something. Oh, yeah? About Katrina. OK, she can fit you in now if you'd like to go on through. Right, thanks. I know it was full last week, and I haven't had any. 
I think maybe I should talk to Serena on my own. Why not? I'd give up. You all right? You know these are a drug, don't you? Yeah. Which means if you take enough of them, they can do you some serious harm, not just make you sick. Did you take many of them? No. I'm just trying to understand why you do that to yourself. You know, your mum's very worried about you. I can't tell her. Well, you could tell me. There's virtually nothing that I haven't heard before. However bad you think it is, I promise you it'll be our secret. Just think of me like a big sister. A few months ago, I was having these pains. I tried to get out of games, but Miss Chamberlain didn't believe me. Afterwards, Cat Barker was laughing at me, and I didn't know why. Now blood at the back of my skirt. So it's your first period? I'd read about it, but it's different when it happens. I didn't, you know, have anything to use. I had to use toilet paper instead. The other girls were all laughing at me. So you didn't want to go back? Not when I'm... I'd rather make myself sick. I still haven't got anything. You didn't tell your mum? I couldn't. She's different since the, you know, the menopause. Especially about stuff like this. So that's why there was nothing to use at home? I tried to get some from Natalie's room, but she went ballistic. I took the aspirin for the pains, first of all, but they make you sick if you take them without eating. It's easy. I'll get you some pads, but no more of this. If you get pains again, I'll prescribe you something, OK? I could talk to your mum if you want me to. No, don't. I'll do it. OK. I'll be two minutes. So, what do you think? I think you should have had this stitched. Oh, I mean, how do you think she'll take it? Please. To be honest, your guess is as good as mine. But I do know one thing. She'd want you to be straight with her. No play acting, just straight. I think this is going to scar. At last! I was ready to send out a search party. I'm returning him safe and sound, in better condition than I found him, in fact. Did he pass his MOT? He'll do, as long as you don't fling him around too much. Oh, well, I'll try not to. Oh, Jimmy, sure I'm glad your leg's better for the dance. That's OK, baby. I've got two anyway. Oh, well, sit yourself down, Tiger. We're going to get plenty of exercise later. Mum? What? Don't you want to talk? You don't want to talk to me, do you? I'm trying to. Did the doctor say you'd be all right? Yeah, more or less. Oh, good. Well, that's fine then. I'm glad you talked to her. In fact, I'm glad you talked to your dad, Natalie and whoever else. It doesn't matter whether or not I know what's going on. I'm only your mother. Oh, what? Why can't you tell me? Because I can't. I can't talk to you, Mum. Oh. That's a relief. Difficult day? Yeah, sort of. You? Mm, no, not especially. Can I get you another? Um, no thanks.
fantastic. I'm sorry. I didn't realise I was that bad. It's not your fault. It is. I just... I suppose I never thought about the menopause affecting you. It was just my problem. I'm sorry. I didn't mean no, to. No, love. Your dad said the same thing at the end. He just couldn't talk to me anymore. I should have listened then. I've let you down. I know you can't help it. It's no excuse. It'll be all right. What? Even after all this? You, you wouldn't rather, rather be with your dad? No. The only thing I want is for you to be around more. But you know why I work. It's for you. I, I just want you to have all the things, everything the other girls have got, everything Natalie's got. I don't need anything else as long as I've got you and Dad. Well, from now on, we're going to talk about everything. And I'll quit the bar work so that I'm here in the evenings. <laughs> you won't be able to get rid of me. And I'll talk to someone about hormone replacement. Anything. Just please, love, tell me what happened. Have you told her yet? Well, you better get a move on. Nice to see your joints jump into that one. I think I may well be in love. Oh, Jimmy, you're bleeding. Hmm? Oh, do you need me to fix it? Oh, no, don't worry, you're off duty. Come on, Tiger. Apparently, apparently the churches are still fighting it out, so we're going to bring oh. things down now with the a slow... Spencer's killing me. Number. I'll be the ladies. Gonna tell King Pleasure. We've lost our faith. <laughs> uh -huh. Come on, this is more my speed. Right, uh, uh, anyone want another drink? It's my shout. I must say, I never really thought this would be my cup of tea, but I'm glad you asked me. See? I already know what's good for you. Vice versa? <laughs> Listen, I know we said we wouldn't talk about Beth. Shut up, Beth. I will. It's just... Well, I was actually thinking about what you were saying, and you were right. She is my sister, which is why I should be having a go at her and not you, so you can quit while you're ahead. By the way, I can feel you smiling, so I don't think I don't know. Aren't you going to miss this at home? We can always buy another bottle. And they're not going to miss you at fireworks? It's fine. I said I'd meet them there. Thanks. No. I don't regret the army at all. There's a kind of freedom in waking up in the morning knowing what you have to do. Yeah, but only because there's loads of people telling you what to do. I don't think I could stand it. Anyway, I still miss it sometimes. I suppose at times like this you think about all the things you miss. Everybody goes through these stages, don't they? It's time to take stock, think about what's really important. I didn't want her to go. She just decided not to be resuscitated, I mean. And there was nothing I could do. Well, maybe it was for the best. I mean, if that's what she wanted. Hmm. Anyway. Funeral tomorrow. I suppose I could come with you. If that's what you want. Katrina. Yes? I don't think I'm going to be dancing again for a while. Oh, don't make such a fuss. You'll be better in no time. No, no Katrina, that's not what I meant. I know what you meant. I've met someone else. Sorry. Well, aren't you going to say something? 
Found your leave pass. I know you've been back a month. I guess something was up. Is it... Is she... Is she special? We're getting married. Well... Finally, we well, it's been a blast while it's lasted. Katrina and Jimmy! You're a great girl, you know that? Well, we've got to have our happy ending, haven't we? 